Hey guys, it's Sarah again and I'm here to make another commentary. This time uh, is a CPL commentary and this is Tailu versus IG, IG which is CCM, they just have a new sponsor. And in this commentary I will concentrate on our shaker because I'm mainly a super player and uh, so I, I think I can make a good guide or a it's like a video guide, this is intended to be a, some kind of video guide on how to play the zero and anal analyzing a very very high level I skilled game uh, so we I start with a very brief uh, analysis of the uh, of the lineups and then I, I will start commentate the game concentrating mainly on our shaker so uh, Tai Lu has very good auras with uh, command aura and uh, beastmaster's aura which give both damage and attack speed bonus and then they have uh, an enchantress which is probably going uh, in the wood with uh, the venge uh, beastmaster going mid this is managing top lane i guess and medusa will be bottom farming uh, interesting to see uh, a comeback of the zero uh, we didn't see it so much lately in the competitive scene but this is not what we're talking about now stop let's stop wasting time let's have a look at uh, IG lineup uh, we have Windrunner very versatile hero can do anything probably will go bottom um, or uh, no even better probably Lich is going bottom our shaker is gonna roam because it's a very good Roman Romer, uh, Weaver is going top farming and uh, Storm is going mid. Maybe Windrunner so can be a support Windrunner supporting top or maybe Windrunner will be bottom and, and Lich top supporting Weaver. Well, let's start having a, uh, seeing this game, how this game is like. And let's see what how, how this what are the first items that this guy is picking so he picked uh, very important for shaker he bought the courier our shaker most of the time should buy the courier or words at start of the game because it's not so item dependent he just he only really needs one item is dagger and that's all and then for clarities clarities are extra extra good at start for our shaker and I'll tell you why. Uh, when you're laning with our shaker, our shaker is not. It's of course is not gonna last it. Is is going to support some kind of some hero or is going to roam. So it's most of the time it's outside the. It's outside the range for harassment. So he can make take full advantage of clarity. And of course he needs mana to spam that fissure which can very easily grab some kills especially if you play pups it's very easy you just find a hero block a hero with uh, your creeps when uh, when the moment is right when uh, your creeps are pushing and it's gonna take a very big amount of damage and he's blocked and it's very good we, we will see so he needs to spam fisher is is warding at the moment and this is pretty good starting items so it's going top at the moment supporting wind runner so i completely got uh, guessed wrong about the lanes and so what is he doing now he's just waiting to see how how the lanes are he just went to put this forward and he will start disturbing some farm some farming carry or the other side is probably heading bot now yeah exactly he wants to disturb the farm of medusa it's much much harder to farm when oh well he's not he changed his mind but the concept is the same is roaming it's when you when you are on a team and you see that earth shaker uh, missing on the minimap, you're gonna you're gonna need to be much more careful. 
but oh my god this guy I, t I took pro I probably took the wrong leap because this guy is just roaming around so I will speed up a little for sure even if he's doing this we are, we are gonna see some good performance but he is by this heart shaker because the game level is so high so we see he found a good moment to gank and here we see perfect fissure blocking and first blood thanks to heart shaker this is what you want to do if when you pick heart shaker you don't want to stay in lane trying to get creeps you don't want and clarity so it's ready for another gank and very fast but i was saying uh, you don't want to stay in lane trying to get creeps you don't want to disturb your carries farm doing so you want to row, stay in lane maybe get experience denying being a threat to the opposite team and most of all the, f the first 10-15 minutes you want to roam you want to roam you want to try to get kills and just like he showcased this is what you want to do fisher spell from your ally kill that's all and we see he got is taking room control too roaming one very good thing of roaming is that you get a lot of control of the rooms just you're moving between the lanes so you're staying in the river just try it. if you're lucky it's gonna pop on your side and you will have you will uh, not only you because maybe you say okay but what's the point of getting illusion okay but most importantly you are denying the rune to the opposite team to the opposite mid solo Beastmaster is a hero that relies on the rune control he, he uses the board and the bottle so with the bird he see the he see the runes and uh, we and he gets he bottles it every time and he spams his nuke you see he's doing it right now Third minute rune is approaching, so he wants to check, so he sends the hook. And we see our shaker right now. You can you can think, well, maybe he's not doing much. He's not being that helpful. He's not. But in fact, there are heroes missing on the minimap, and they know. And their solo mid was, I'd say, maybe in trouble. So. And we see the rune, and we see what Aaron Shaker is going to grab it probably. Um, I was saying uh, that these are these heroes, very very dangerous ganking team. Very do uh, two heroes that together early can gank and getting kills very very easily. And this storm is still very fragile. It's not six. So what is our Shaker doing? He's not stealing experience, just very little maybe. He's not stealing the farm just harassing a little and being there just being there and he is a threat he, so it will be much harder to gank the storm and uh, he's, he's, he's also taking runes taking control of the runes which is of course well, as I said very very useful very important for uh, our shaker so we see now storm approach is approaching to six uh, the these guys are not missing on a minimap anymore so it doesn't need to be mid uh, anymore and he's heading top trying to help to stop this very very strong push it's gonna be hard because with this creep with this tornado with these uh, words it, this is a very very strong push and i think this tower is gonna fall anyway and you see his choice he used to fissure and well that that is good but uh, as you can see you you need one thing you need to be very careful of with earth shaker is that fisher has medium to long cooldown i would say so um i don't know exactly it will be maybe around uh, uh 20 seconds uh, i'm not sure but um uh, you need to be care i was saying you need to be careful with your cooldowns you need you need to to realize that uh, when you use Fisher, maybe you uh, you don't want to waste it if the uh, situation is dangerous. If some uh, aggressive uh, move may come from the opposite sides, because after you, f you use the Fisher for the next 15-20 seconds for the cooldown, you're vulnerable. You're very vulnerable. So you 
you and your your lane your teammate is more vulnerable too because yeah your strength your strength uh, relies uh, mainly on the fissure especially in the early levels and you can see our shake is, is right now level two is very under leveled compared to the other heroes but this do this doesn't mean is doing a bad job is is actually doing an extra good job because this term is is growing without is farming is getting fat uh, and maybe he, without the earth shaker self he would have been kinked he would he would have died this beast master is struggling to getting the roots and this is very good too and here we see he tries a gank but there's a hook invisible that revealed his presence but anyway just his presence you see this medusa can't farm as safely as as good as if he wasn't there even if they know even if they see it doesn't really matter sometimes being a support and ganking it's not a, it's not the, the main purpose you may think it's just killing killing the heroes but absolutely it's not said to be like that maybe okay in here we see some actions he waited a little time to get very good fisher but well yeah he's then focused and killed but it doesn't it doesn't matter he, he did a good job he, he stunned many heroes he was there and that's what's his part yes if if he stayed maybe a little uh, more in the back if if he um, he may have survived and being helpful at the same time but it's good it, 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 it's okay to die not a lot because dying a lot is always bad but if you can save a teammate, uh, a life, le the life of a teammate of yours when you play a shaker, then go for it. Most of the time, if it's a carry, go for it. It's it's gonna in in the end, it's gonna it's gonna help. It's gonna it's gonna help your uh, your team more than just thinking of your own. That's like the basics of support. And so first uh the very very early stage of the game has passed right now and as we can see it is changing his behavior at minute eight changed completely he now because it's good to let your uh, main heroes get the most of the farm early getting most of the experience early but even if uh, the farm is not really needed until uh, you get 11 so you have ultimate level two the experience at this stage is important you can't you you can stay behind the first few minutes but then you need some experience and it will speed up a little and so what is he doing now is still supporting weaver but he got a little xp now he's letting him farm again and maybe they are just trying to bait with this weaver but this is probably not gonna work especially as we know that this these gankers are going for the top and probably this wind runner will die but this isn't supposed to be our main focus so we see ganking or shaker is this is a, these three heroes are of course very dangerous at this stage even if his leech is not six yet but unluckily the sentinel had the same idea did the same thing but did it just better so we see it's item choice boots that of course are good on every hero and magic stick at this point you have magic stick well it's not like compulsory item item but it's good uh, if you feel like uh, the enemy team has a lot of spells if you if you feel like that is gonna help you just go for it 200 gold is very very good price for uh, price quality rapper let's say I don't know if this is a correct expression but you got what I mean and yeah uh, I was saying at this point you have um, you have a few choices in the, uh, about the items personally if I have 
uh, if I don't feel like the my team is uh, a super ganking oriented team, like we when the kind of team when at this stage, at level seven maybe eight, you start roaming for three, four, five heroes, and in that case you need a lot of mana and you want to get mana boots, but my personal in, in in if it's like normal game balanced with a balanced team with a balance of farming and ganking and pushing i would personally start saving right now for the dagger because the earlier you start the earlier you're gonna get i in, in pubs most of the times if the game is good i can get dagger around 20 25 minutes maybe earlier if it's going very good 15 minutes i can have a dagger and that is gonna help that is gonna help a lot that is gonna of course you know everybody knows how dangerous is uh nurse shaker level uh, 11 with a dagger uh, during mid game and yes yeah, so what is he doing now his team is letting him getting some farm with leech in this case and he's getting the levels he needs is get is getting the best item you can get early on our shaker i'm surprised he didn't get this before boots before sick because uh, being our shaker being a support you just need this scroll scroll of town portal to to counter gank when when you see your carry is in danger, when you see they are ganking, you immediately TP. You have a stun. You can stun maybe two or three years if he's if if he's getting ganked, and and maybe and this can this kind of move can really make a difference. And now we see he got level six, and he's going on with this room control thing, but he's in danger now. Uh, I don't know. Yes, it's it's safe. It's safe. And he denied yet another room. This is a very good job. And so we, uh, I'm just having a look around. This this guy is fat. Level 11. Mechans more ready. 9. Let's have uh, an overview. I won't commentate on this much because I just wanted, like, because this is an Earth Shaker com uh, Center commentary, but also you want to have maybe a little vision of the game in general. Just I just showed you that, so you may be asking, yes, okay, this is Earth Shaker, but what else is happening on the map? You you now have an idea, but I will just speed up these moments where our Shaker is doing nothing. Because uh, I want I want it to be a little more concise than a uh, normal commentary. And so here we see the another very good uh, another uh, role. Uh, our shaker for of our shaker is counter is uh, countering push because the fissure it's a big AOE can damage a lot of creeps a lot of heroes all with uh, one hit. It can prevent if you if you like uh, the fissures horizontally or uh, diagonally like this you can also make the path longer don't block the crypts completely if you are playing uh, because well in pubs it's okay but in uh, most serious games is forbidden to block crypts completely like this but doing diagonally just make them work longer it's always okay and can be very effective but yeah you got the idea he got he saw he choose he went for uh, mana boots which is it's 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 just good item you just can spam that fissure you can get that that uh that extra goal with the fissure that extra harassment the extra mana you really need it's it, it's just a good item just a good side it's it's a question also of personal preference often of I go arcane boots if I feel like I need it it's, it's just it's some things you just need to fill the game if you if you feel if you, 
if you just stop a second and think okay uh, will I need to spam a lot or uh, this will be a kind of farming quiet game where I can save my fishers just for the very important moments and here we see the strength of the long range initiation that these heroes have this all these heroes okay and it's also ultimate all these heroes have long range initiation and our shaker is maybe the king of long range initiation he, he can he can stay very far and he can stun he can block he can do a lot and even before the enemy see even before the enemy know so this is a very important role of our shaker too and as you can see these mana boots are really paying off now because he, he spammed a lot of spells and he didn't run out of mana this fight so let's move on a little faster this by the way this scourge team is probably totally raping at the moment and yeah so um, this is I was talking also about uh, the counter uh, counter push uh, countering push with our shaker our shaker if you want to uh, turtle if you want to protect your towers if you want to prevent your opponent uh, to push our shaker is such a good choice because his feature is good because his, his stance and uh, damage AoE so he's gonna slow down the creep push and of course his ultimate is the king of the spells uh, against push because the bigger the creeps you're pushing the worse it is so you put your opponents goes in into a some somewhat of a lose lose situation you have no, cre no not many creeps your push is weak you have too many creeps yeah uh, this our shaker ultimate is gonna do just a shit lot of damage so is it just puts the push pushing heroes pushing strategy in a lose lose situation and you can see very 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 nice feature eating more than a target and uh, splitting enemy heroes you can think well maybe they just walk through this is is it's not not problem at all but in a fight that working like this may mean maybe one second, two seconds later for of a spell, two seconds later of starting DPS by the carry, it, it can mean a lot. So uh, p diagonal fissures are very very key concept in for Earth Shaken, and this Earth Shaken is, re is really showcasing with not too much experience, not too much uh, items, not too much farm, you can do you can you can help your team a lot and this is exactly what you want your shaker to do and again these arcane boots are being so, uh, so helpful in spamming the spells by the way this is 311 at the moment so we really see that it's not looking good for sentinel team and you can also notice one thing that yes our shaker is a support and he bought uh, he bought the um, the chicken at start the the courier but later he's just letting the second support which is leech buying it all and he's just saving money it's at the moment he's sitting at already 1000 gold because your super you maybe want to buy an extra pair of ward or, or upgrade the chicken that's totally okay oh it's got uh well shit happens not much he could do it was out just went out of position probably trying to uh yes he wanted to go at the 22 minute mark for the rune but he just don't have an out didn't have vision and that was a problem but let's move on so I was saying you you are a super hero you want to buy words uh, at start uh, courier at start maybe like let's say 400 gold for uh, 
or maybe 600 gold it's the maximum amount you want to spend before your dagger because you don't have to farm it's very important don't try to farm don't try to, to steal the farm to the carries it's just counterproductive i think this this is a good uh i'm not inventing a language if you know what i mean i hope it's, i'm not inventing this word uh it's just anyway i was saying yeah this is uh i was just con it's just counterproductive to try to get the farm what you want to do is don't die too much so you can get you can get the gold just by spamming a few fissures like here in uh, in the wood uh, getting assists and you will see that if you do this at when you're level 11 which is the moment you want to have uh, dagger as soon as possible you you will be close to dagger or, or you will already have it then if your if your team is very weak in the mid game they maybe uh, rely on uh, our shaker for uh, for team fight potential they they may give you like just few minutes one two minutes of farm to to get the dagger and that level 11 a little faster but as you can see this game this guy didn't farm a lot didn't farm almost at all this guy didn't get too much experience he didn't spend too much time in lane early but it's still looking good he's on his way to dagger he has his arcane boots he's his magic stick he has six assists he only died twice and he's, he's doing exactly what our shaker needs to do in a team this may be not the best our shaker replay ever but it's it's, it's very good it, this these players really know what they are doing so just not as spectacular maybe as as maybe you can see on Wodota top 10 or something like that but very very instructive anyway so it's getting closer and closer this is a uh, um, that moment or little in uh, in this game but it's getting closer and closer to the dagger me 1700 gold is getting closer and closer to level 11 and everything is just looking extra good at the moment for this team and you see our lich is buying the words yet again and you will have to super more maybe to compensate after you get the dagger after you get the dagger there's really no item that will give you that will make that will really make the difference yes an argonim is good maybe a shiva's guard is good maybe also a heart or a, a force stuff for extra mobility is good maybe upgrading uh arcan boots to travels boots of travels can be good but that 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 is not really going to make the difference what is going to make the difference after you get the dagger is being there when it's needed always be there always have and you can also and you should uh, spend some money in uh, support items like you can buy dust you can buy you can buy words you can buy gem maybe gem is not perfect for him because you he can't uh, he isn't wrenched but you you got what i mean you you can spend money on uh, supportive items and your your team is gonna benefit of from this for sure and so we see now scourge transitioning into uh pushing uh score is looking good farm is looking good on every hero we can have a little look at the items you see a vanguard here already two thousand gold this very stacked wind runner and they're just getting towers pretty easily they're sharing it but i would give the edge uh, uh to the scourge and they are actually going for the tower and big time team fight is gonna happen and we see 
Our shaker is going back. You know why it's going back? Because it needs not to get the mage, not to get the dagger cancelled, to be ready when it's really needed to go in. I don't know if they will choose to go back or uh, uh, to push some more. But what you want to be, where you want to be before the team fight starts with, as an art shaker is in the back. You want to be close enough to uh, use that fissure when the moment is right. But you want to be far enough not to get your dagger cancelled, not to get, not to get damaged, so so that you can jump in uh, with your ultimate when the moment is right. And here we see this a uh, very very good initiation team, our shaker, the king of initiation, in, together with paired with storm and other extra good heroes with initiation. We can see how easily they can just at any moment jump on a hero and do a lot of damage stun aoe and everything and what he did and 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 he did exactly what you want to do which is going in using uh, your spells and then try to get outside alive so that you can uh wait for your cooldowns and spam fisher again because if you if you can stay if the most important part is like the first fisher and the first uh echo slam the first ultimate for sure but the best, the ideal move you want to make is maybe cast a Fisher or maybe uh, Echo Slam in, Fisher in, and then walk out alive if possible so that you can wait your cooldown and spam Fisher more and more. And you see, just to finish Magic Bond and just to get Bracers, just, it's just boosting its stats. Probably this is gonna make sure he gets out alive once once you jump in. And here you see our robe of the magi. Very interesting item. I'm just having a look to the opposite team to see if there maybe was uh what to try to guess what item. I guess it's gonna be a blade mail, which is not so popular item or an art shaker but it's not bad at all you jump in you get you get damage you get focused and you already did your the, your main job so it can be a nice idea to get the focus out, out of you or to damage the opponents to blade mail uh, just after you echo slam in so you're damaging the enemy you're doing it's it's good and once again this guy is being is doing what I consider a pretty big mistake. I don't know what the hell he, w he was thinking when he went here but that was kind of out of position. So we speed up a little we see we are pretty close to the end so I will start maybe I'll, I won't fast so I can make a little summary of the most important things you want to do as an art shaker. First uh, 10 to 15 minutes you don't want to steal too much experience but most of all you don't want to steal uh, any any farm to your carry you want to support and you want to roam you want to get rooms you want to try ganks and kills without letting your uh, your carries and your mid game carries your late game carries to get the farm they need to have the jump start that will make the difference mid game because if you're level if you have level 1 fisher or level uh, 4 in the first 10 minutes one change that won't won't matter that much then there's a phase the pre dagger phase when uh, you want you actually want to get some farm not too much you don't want to go uh, st try to steal your weavers uh, or, uh, or or storms farm in this case but if it's possible share a lane with another uh, uh, support and get that experience and that farm that you need uh, to have uh, maybe s level 2 echo slam and dagger then what you want to be is being there all the time being there uh, when the team fight happens, being there when they, your team is ganking, being there when your team is getting ganked, use that fissure and use that ultimate uh, 
when the team fight comes when the moment comes which because that is really a game changing uh, skill uh, it's really a good echo slam it really makes the difference between win and loss and so we see now the team and uh, that is this is the three three main phases you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna pass through I don't know you're gonna live with as an hour shaker you're gonna I don't know you get the message even if my English is not that good and so I don't know I get I think they will going just ju they are just going to forfeit now uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed yeah they are GGing right now hope you enjoyed the game uh, hope uh, you l you learn from it uh, I really love I really love to add feedback to have uh, let me just let me know guys let me know what you think about what I did let me know uh, if I made mistakes what you like what you disliked uh, like the video maybe support me because uh, I'd love to, I'd love to, and um, I think this is all, uh, Ara, Ara, signing off, GG guys, bye.